Hello everyone, and especially Karen. It's uh, David here again, I'm home, and I must apologise to Karen for uh, not getting her on the video, and that's because I'm using this silly uh, phone, which um, is very good for uploading, but not very good for uh, actually videoing with. And uh, as you look at these books that I've been reading, you can see what I'm going to use. It's a, it's a camera that I've had for years, but it's waterproof and uh, it takes video, so I'll be using that, which will be a bit better. And I don't know whether you know... Oh, and here's my piano. I've been... I wrote a minuet the other night. Fancy that, but I did. Wrote an actual minuet on it. I don't know, I didn't sit down, I was just messing about. And a minuet came out. Uh, I can't play, but I can sort of tinker. Anyway, uh, Lanchester, he's the man, Frederick Lanchester. I don't know if any of you know anything about him, but uh, if you look at these books that I got, I, as you can see, I know quite a bit about him. Now, fascinating man and his brother and that. And Ricardo, of course, uh, who I've been reading about. Uh, Sir Haynes' book, definitely worth reading about. Um, I hadn't realised until I got this book that uh, pre-ignition on engines uh, and uh, octane of fuel, low, low uh, quality fuel back in the day, was the reason why um, sleeve valve engines were invented because uh, and, and F-head engines like on uh, my old Rover 100 and Rolls-Royce engines with the exhaust valves on the side or a sleeve valve engine where indeed you don't have exhaust valves uh, you don't have to worry about the pre-ignition from the exhaust valve at the top of the cylinder head being hot and causing pre-ignition. Anyway, Ricardo made that all, all clear. So, uh, sorry again to Karen. It was lovely meeting you. And best wishes to all your family. And if they'd like a little drive in the car, uh, I'll do some sort of link or something. Or you can leave a comment with me and they can see you uh, around here in Cornwall. It'd be delightful to take you for a, for a little drive. Perhaps we could meet up there and have a little drive around. But it was lovely meeting you, Karen. Uh, so anyway, here we are, Lanchester. His cars were one up from Rolls Royces. In fact, one of the Maharajas of Bengal or something used Rolls Royces for his uh, rubbish trucks when they treated him scornfully. And he went straight round to the Lanchester showroom and bought Lanchesters and had his Rolls Royces that he'd ordered or was or had converted to rubbish lorries. Sounds made up, but it's true. Lanchester, a very clever man. Uh, founded business studies, really. So any of you, uh, and Karen, of course, at uh, Warwick University, uh, it was Lanchester who really started to uh, make a formula, and the Japanese um, really, really raped his, his idea of how to, uh, the logistics, well, not the logistics, the strategies of how you run a business. But he's certainly worth worth getting involved with. And again, I am sorry. Uh, Karen, for you not being in the video, but there we are. I was cold and my fingers were cold. But that's this. That's this uh, short little video, and I hope you're all ready and uh, all okay. And I'll be using this vintage camera, but nevertheless, it's waterproof, so that should sort me out. My minuet. It's cold outside. Anyway, that's all from from David here, fumbling David with his rubbish videos. But all the best to you all. Bye bye.